Glenn Renaissance is here with Rod Ferguson, studio head of the Coalition. Hey, everybody. You make this little game called Gears 5, you know that? Yeah, we're working on it. It's really important, I think. <laughs> uh, so we wanted to bring you in to talk about five things that you love about Gears of War 5, which is actually just called Gears 5 this time around. It is. There's so many different changes, and I want you to talk a little bit about them. Like, what are you guys so excited to show to everybody? Uh, I think one is the scope of the whole thing. I mean, part of it is that there's five ways to play. You know, we have campaign. We have Versus, we have Horde, we have Escape, which people saw at E3. We have Map Builder, which we announced at E3, so you can build your own hives for Escape. So the fact that there's just so much inside the package, like just it's, uh, we're really excited for everybody to get their hands on all of it. There's a lot of fives in this video. There is a lot of fives. <laughs> we're doing a lot of fives. Including the entire game. That's really cool. It's, it's like you guys planned this or something like that. I yeah. wish we did, but that we did not. It's totally serendipity. It's a good coincidence. It, purely. All right, so I know you want to talk a little bit about the story and the cast. Yeah, I mean, that's probably number two for me would be just the, the story, like working with Tom Bissell, our writer, is always amazing. But, and then you add in our cast, Laura Bailey, Liam McIntyre, Eugene Burt, uh, John DiMaggio as Marcus, and our newest cast member, Rahul Kohli. Uh, it's just, they're such a fun group and they're able to bring this story to life. You know, to be able to switch perspectives and make it, Kate is the protagonist in Gears 5, if you haven't heard. Um, and to be able to tell the story from her perspective and the way that this cast comes together, and we were able to do a performance capture for the first time in a Gears game, uh, which was really exciting to get them on stage and not only doing the voices, but also doing the body, you know, the motion as well. So it's able us to deliver, as you saw at last E3, like we're able to deliver sort of a more emotional, more impactful performance. And so I'm really excited for people to get their hands on that. Can you give us any little tidbit? About the story? Yeah. <laughs> like the tiniest? Uh, we're going to be talking about it in September. So as we go back into, we, everything is having its beat. You know, we had Escape at E3. Uh, we're about to go into the tech test. People get their hands on in Versus uh, in July. We're going to go into Horde in, in Gamescom in August. And then September, we're back to campaign, and we'll find and talk more about Kate's story there. Perfect. So now we know we're going to hear more about that. Right. Five big reveals. Yes. <laughs> I'm just going to keep bringing up five. I know, and I, I could have cheated. I could have said my five things were the individual <laughs> features, but we're going deeper than that. Yeah, so. yeah. So another big thing that you guys are trying to bring to this is approachability. Yeah, well, it, one of the things... Number three. Yeah, so number three is, and these are not stack ranked. Um, these are, these are, there's not in any particular order. Um, yeah, it's just a notion of, you know, Game Pass really changes the way that you have to think about game making, you know, in terms of that... Before there was a $60 barrier that would say like, am I in or am I out? And am I willing to pay $60 to be in? And now with Game Pass, all of a sudden this tile will light up in people's game library and they'll be like, oh, you know, hopefully they've heard of it at that point. Like, oh, there's this game coming and it lights up on their dash. They're gonna go like, I wonder what that is. And maybe they've never played a Gears game before in their life. Maybe they don't know anything about it or they've never tried it. And so we've had to really come to the game with an idea about how do we make it approachable for new players. So things like Boot Camp, which you got to, to check out as a way to try to introduce people to the mechanics of Gears of War. The new mode that people are gonna get to play in July and part of the tech test called Arcade is a, a new way to play Versus, which is a little bit more casual in the sense that it's more fun. People worry about shotgun in the face while bouncing when they think about Versus, which is <laughs> totally valid and a fun way to play, but there's like trying to find another aspect to it so people don't go in and they're like, oh, you haven't been playing for the last 15 years? Well, then you're out. And we wanted to make sure there was a way for people to, to get in and play Versus and have fun, and we feel like Arcade does that. Um, and then there's actually accessibility parts of that too. Like we're really focused on supporting the adaptive controller, you know, remap your controls. We put a bunch of stuff in like auto and targeting if people need that, turning off camera shake, turning off vibration, uh, changing subtitle sizes and all that kind of stuff. So we try to make it much more approachable as a Gears game. Yep, and that's also important as you're welcoming new audiences into Gears. Absolutely. And hopefully they'll go back and play every other one too. Yeah, I mean, this is sort of our, this is the kind of year for Gears for that. You know, as, as we reached beyond just players we've always had, which we're grateful for and are really appreciative that they stayed with us all this time. But when you look at Gears Tactics and Gears Pop, like, you know, a mobile game and a PC game and, and what we're doing in the console space as well. And although Gears 5 is coming to PC, in fact, it's coming to Steam for the first time, so which is great. Um, but those are all sort of broadening sort of reaches, the same way we're doing with the novel, same thing we're doing with the comic book, same thing we're doing with the movie. They're all ways of trying to grow the franchise and you have to be welcoming and open to a bunch of new people coming in and so that's what we've tried to design for in Gears 5. Absolutely and so we've talked about how there are going to be so many things to do in Gears 5 yes. uh, but there's a lot of things to earn in Gears 5 as well and right. I know that was one of your points. Yeah I mean one of the things I really like is, is just about us learning from you know our past and, and listening to the players and so 
Gears 4 had gear packs and a lot of RNG elements, uh, random uh, ways to get content and stuff like that. And we really felt like for Gears 5, we wanted to kind of turn that on its head. Instead of being the only random part of our kind of earning is just basically what we call supply drops, which is basically a thank you for playing. We kind of had that where we go like, hey, you've been playing for a while, here's a supply drop, and, a, and, and there's a random, because it's kind of a free gift. Yeah. But if there's something you want, like there's a tour of duty, which is essentially a thing of quests in other games or challenges, and it says, oh, I really want that weapon skin, it'll say, go do this thing, go play 50 Waves of Horde, or go get this many kills in Versus, or what have you, and you can go and go get that. And then there will be premium content, which if you want it, it'll be there like, hey, this costs blah, and you go like, oh, you know, I want to go and get that and I'll pay for it. Because when you look at the player base, you realize there's kind of two sides to every player, and there's the people who have time and no money, you know, and people with money and no time. And, and so you want to make sure there's something for both sides of that and sort of, sort of listening to like, hey, what do the fans want? And so I, we found like, you know, paying for a chance to get something is not, obviously, people are not enjoying that as much as feedback we're getting from 4. Yeah, it seems to be a common... Yeah, exactly. So, uh, so that's why we really, we've completely flipped it on its head, and so now it's like earn specific things, buy specific things, and the only bit of RNG there is is just in our free gifts, which is like, as you play, we'll pick from a pool and give you content as you go. Mm -hmm. And plus, you can also um, craft stuff as well, so if there's something you're like, oh, I really want that and I'm not getting it as part of the supply drop, you can just, you know, you, you can scrap a bunch of stuff and use that to make the one you want. It's a lot of ways to get things and a lot of ways to earn things through these five new modes that you have in this video about five things you love about Gears 5. And we, as long as we stay around five minutes, we'll be good. So that's all <laughs> we're trying to get to. I don't know if we're at five minutes. <laughs> but we do have our final thing. So in Gears 4, you know, when you had the Xbox One X, you had to say, do I want visuals or do I want performance? Do I want 4K or do I want 60? Uh, and then it was 60 in multiplayer, but it was 30 in campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm really happy to say that based on a bunch of work by some super talented people back at the studio, uh, we're actually both. We're 4K and 60 on Xbox One X. So yeah. you don't have to make that choice anymore, which is great. And now we also are able to support three-player split screen. So all of our modes support three-player split screen. So that idea of couch co-op and being able to sit on the couch and play together with three people is going to be exciting. So uh, yeah, I just that's one of my favorite things. So those were five things that you loved about Gears 5. And we didn't even get into all of them. I mean, Linda Hamilton is Sarah Connor, and Gears 5 is going to be crazy. Yeah, I think there could have been so many more things we could talk about. And I'm sure we'll hear much more about that as we get to launch. Yeah, September 10th, September 6th, early access. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me, Rod. And for more on Gears 5, keep it on IGN.